What's up guys? So today we're going to talk about these. A rib nut. So there's a couple benefits to using these rib nuts over the traditional rivet. A traditional rivet is a permanent mounting solution as once you pull, compress the rivet, it snaps the rivet out and that's it. There's no way to remove the rivet temporarily if you wanted to take the fender off, um, if you're at a track day and you need to get underneath or something or for any reason if you want to remove it, um, it's kind of just permanently stuck with a traditional rivet. You can see it takes an Allen wrench and then you can just quickly remove your any panel or spoiler or whatever you have that you fasten down with the riv nut. So this is a riv nut kit that I got from NRG. This is the part that you stick into the body of the car and then you insert this threaded portion into it to hold any pieces that you want to attach to the body of the car. This is just a washer that will sandwich the body panel, which helps with uh, fiberglass or anything like that, so it doesn't break the material. How it works is you stick this through the metal, you insert this into it, it'll pull this further outwards as you tighten it, which will crumple this piece of metal to sandwich in between. Here's an example of one I just did. I already installed the insert. See how once you tighten it, the metal gets squished right there? And that's what kind of sandwiches it. From there, it's just a solid insert and you can thread things into it. Okay, so step one, mount this on with tape so we can line up where we wanna drill the holes. So you want to use like non too sticky tape so you can lift it off and adjust as you need in case anything doesn't line up. Okay, so this is pretty close to where I want it and then when I drill down, I'll just hold it firmly to drill down. So first you want to mark where you want to have the, the rivet set. Okay, so you want to start off with a smaller bit so it doesn't walk around on you. Okay, we are through. A little trick, use some tape so the stuff doesn't fly around. You don't want too much fiberglass in the air. Make you all itchy and stuff. Now I'll take off the fender so we can get this hole lined up. Now we gotta bust through this hole. Now this is where we step up to a larger bit and kind of just bore our way out. Our goal is to have a hole big enough for this to insert. Cool. Now the hole is big enough, we can insert this in, like so, and we gotta crank it down. So with the riv nut kit, it comes with this riv nut install tool, and all it is is an Allen bolt, a washer, this part where you can throw a 14 millimeter onto, and then this side is just an H6. You would insert this in, and then you would crank it down. As you crank on it more, it'll the bottom will flare and grab the back side of the sheet metal. Because you can see right now you can pull this off because it's already started to flare. But you want it to flare all the way so that it grabs really firmly. There we go. 
And then you just back it off. And voila. that we line up the hole still some fiberglass in there but we should be able to thread it in now there we go now all we have to do is mount all the other parts of the fender Alright, so I've got the four rivets in, the rib nut inserts, one, two, three, and four, and I've got all the holes drilled on the flare, and I'm going to slap it back on. There she is, all installed. Let's take a second to admire all this. If this video was helpful, please give me a like. That'll really help me out with the YouTube algorithm. And subscribe if you want. I'll do more tutorials as we build this car along some more.